Hi guys, my name is Ruben and I run A1 Mowing here in Mackay, Queensland, Australia. I just thought I'd uh, show you guys my little setup and uh, that we use for mowing lawns. We mow between 150 to 200 lawns every two weeks um, here in Mackay. Uh, we also do a bunch of big blocks and commercial places, lots of, uh, lots of assortment of different things. Uh, we usually do sort of between 18 to 20 lawns a day and uh, I just thought I'd show you a little setup. Come and have a look. So the first things I do when I rock up to a, uh, to a place to mow the lawn, we'll pull up on the curb like this. Here in Australia, um, most of the streets will have curbs. Uh, a little bit different to what I see on, a, on the American uh, American videos, but uh, and the curb, uh, you know, allows that the trailer to sit down a little bit lower, which makes it a lot nicer. Uh, for dumping the grass. So the first thing I do is undo this. I'm just going to rip out my uh, my whip snipper. Now I use the Shindower. This is the 262. It's the latest model with the speed feed head. It's my favourite mower. Uh, the first thing we'll do is one of us will be cruising around with the uh, with the whip snipper doing all the edges, that sort of thing. We also have the old trusty. Uh, Shindow 260. This thing's gone through. This thing's been going for about, I think, eight years, something like that. Being used every day. Unbelievable uh, whipper snippers. A lot of grunt. Love the Shindows. Um, we have a little Husqvarna blower here. Love me uh, Husqvarna blowers. Um, I started off using these little ones, and, and sometimes we we still use it, but I prefer to use. Uh, I prefer to use the big girl, the big uh, Husqvarna B7, B70. This thing, it's, it's set up here on its side. All I, all I got to do, bang, pull it, straight on the back, off we go. Everything's about quick access, getting in and out nice and quick. Uh, we use a bush ranger um, for, for spraying weeds, that sort of thing. And um, if you have a look here. I have two different hedges. We have the uh, we have the still petrol hedger, but I love these new Husqvarna uh, hedges. All this battery powered products now are just unbelievable. I I found that I can halve the time in some of the jobs that we do um, just by using one of these battery powered ones, and I can do a huge uh, huge hedges just in, with one battery. These things, I don't know if it's the blades that are just moving quicker or what, but they're just a lot lighter, a lot easier to use, and a lot quicker uh, when, when trimming hedges. So, big fan of that one. I also run the, uh, also run the battery powered Husqvarna chainsaw. I have another backup as well. Keep them locked away in the car. A little bit harder for people to knock off. That sort of thing. They're not. They're not cheap units. Great. Both great machines. I, I love it because it's just one-handed uh, unit. You just have it in the one hand and go hard with them. So I think they're nice, balanced. Uh, nice, balanced, balanced machines. These things are nice and light. The beauty of the battery powered is you can uh, you can get that tree down. With, you know, you're hardly making any noise if you need to cut a tree down or something. You don't have half the neighbourhood out there looking. It's nice and quiet. You start one of these petrol ones up and everyone's out there wanting to have a look what you're doing. Alright, so once we uh, once we start mowing, so as soon as the guy's out there with the whipper snipper, we pull out the trusty walker. All I gotta do, two pins, you drop me ramp. Always drop the side so it's ready to go. We're losing the sun at the moment, so I'll just show you nice and quickly. This is the uh, Walker. Walker mower. This is the petrol version, the 26 horsepower. Now this thing has the, uh, the GHS. This is the GHS one. I have also have the diesel version of this as well. And um, the GHS standing stands for the grass handling system. All the grass gets sucked up into the middle here. When I want to dump, um, all I do is cruise up to my trailer. So once this thing's full, cruise up to the trailer, pull these leaves. So 
nice and easy. If you come on in closer, I'll give you a little run down. These things are, this is, they're, they're quite an expensive unit, but they're the best, the best in the mowers, best on the market, in my opinion. These, this thing has the deck adjuster, so on the fly, you can be cruising along, and if you see a few rocks or something, you can either lift this up to get over the rocks, or you can just change your height. So, there's all the different heights here. I do some people's yards on three, some on four, and just adjust your deck. Nice and easy, you can do it on the fly. Um, all these little things all add up. This just here in Australia, just to have this high dumps an extra five thousand dollars. This mower new is uh, is a, is with, with the with the deck lifter, the deck adju uh, height adjuster. You pay around about thirty three, thirty four thousand dollars. I have the diesel version um, of this as well, and a new one of those is uh, is around about forty three thousand with all these little extras on it. But um, you're buying the best machine on the market. That's what allows you to do, you know, 18 to 20 lawns a day. We can do more. My wife and I have done 26 in a day. Um, that a machine like this is what lets you do it. Now, when we need to get in the backyard, you can't go past the old the trusty Honda. So we just drop the ramp here. Everything's about speed. Everything's about getting the machine on. The, the old Hondas will always start first pull. This thing's got three speeds, and um, yeah, I've got two of these units as well. Great machines. Stays in the rain, locked to my trailer, you know, three, 365 days a year, and they always start first go and keep going. They're just a great machine. Uh, if you want to have a bit of a closer look up here, I also have a uh, Hustler 60 inch mower, and I um, and for, for doing your big acreage box, that sort of thing. But when I want to fit that mower on, I, I just pull this little stitch mower. <laughs> so this stays at home. And I can now back up my Hustler mower and easily fit a 60 inch mower uh, in, the, in here, no problem at all. I can even go wider. And um, if you have a look here, this is a little, um, Little sort of setup that I made. I just push my mower straight into here, and um, and then I have a little ratchet strap that goes on there and it locks it onto the mower. So um, basically, there's one other thing I can show you guys. So when we go, when we come to a dump to dump this thing, if you come around the back here, you just lift these two things up, and. Um, both of these doors get locked around. I won't lock them around right now because the uh, mower's in the way. <coughs> I'll move the mower out of the way. This has the uh, this has the electric hydraulic uh, tipper on it. She lifts up nice and high. Obviously, these gates would be open, and you just drive off. I can fit about close to six cubic meters in here. So, on a good day, even when it's nice and thick, if we jump on top of the grass a bit, I can pretty much fit um, 18 to 20 lawns in. If you keep jumping on it, you'll, you'll definitely fit that that, that in there. Uh, in the winter time, I might get a few days, three, four, five days out of it before I have to go to the dump. So, uh, yeah. So that's basically my setup. I've got two two setups sim like this. I've got another uh, car as well, Rodeo car that I tow with it. It's a bit different to you American guys. You guys have the big uh, the big trucks to tow your trailers around. Uh, we have. I've just got the little Hilux here with a little diesel, a little three liter diesel, and um, and and it, and it 
does everything perfectly we wouldn't be able to fit one of those big F trucks in most of the places we go uh, I don't know if your streets are bigger or what the go is but uh, a lot of times even just fitting this setup in can be a struggle at times so over here just that the three litre tows this around no problem at all it's nice and cheap on fuel um, and it just gets the job done everything can be all my tools and everything locked away at night locked away when I want to go in and you know get some lunch all that sort of thing and uh, yeah, it's just been a great setup for us but uh, that's about it uh, so that'll be our this is our first uh, first edit first uh, thing on YouTube I hope you guys like it um, and and check out more in the future thank you have a good one